on the bench is a capacitor wizard that is not working as it should. Uh, this is what happens when you dis you don't discharge your capacitors. It's shortened the component, and now it's not working. Wasn't able to find a schematic online for this. Uh, I don't know, maybe a fuse or a resistor. That's I'm hoping I'm gonna find on the circuit board when I take it apart. And it happened while you were testing with these probes. I'm gonna trace it down, starting from the probe up to the circuit board. And I'll go from there. So let's go ahead and take this apart. This Check if there's any fuse on here. I'm going to check a couple of components here. Diodes are all good. Uh, resistors. This is supposed to be a 1 ohm resistor. It's 1.6 ohm. This is 78K. We have an issue with this resistor. One point six ohms. This is the very same resistor. This is at 78k ohm. Okay. Sorry if I'm switching. Okay, there is there is an issue with this resistor. Take it out of circuit. Okay, it's out of circuit. And set this T. Yeah. This resistor uh, is definitely not what it should be. So we need to take it out of there. Could that be the uh, the issue that fast? Maybe today's my lucky day. So this should be a one ohm. see if this is going to repair this. Point six one point one. I'm 
I'm thinking that could be that was the issue. this back together and there I'm only short one screw that's not bad eh turn it on it should stay at neutral uh, before the needle so it's almost as if it had a short in it it's ready to be tested I've got a capacitor here that I was going to test in front of you guys fixed 